Today we're going to be looking at this Color 1.8 inch screen hooked to an Arduino. Uh, it's running a chip that is a ST3775. So if you're looking for um, a screen that's similar to this setup, you're going to want to Google that ST3775 and check out the uh, links in the description for more information. But let's go ahead and look at getting this wired up first. So this is the screen here. Uh, it's, I forget how much I paid. I want to say I paid six or seven dollars for it off of eBay. Probably costs a little bit more if you go elsewhere. Uh, and it's just got a number of pins on the back here. Um, it also has little spots for pins right here. Uh, it also has a slot for an SD card. We're not getting into using the SD card today. That's what these pins over here are for. So they were just going to be looking at uh, getting it hooked up and doing some text and shapes on the screens. So these pins starting at the bottom of mine, and they might be labeled different if you have a slightly different model, uh, but it's a uh, VCC, which is your voltage in, uh, ground, CS, reset, AD, AD, yeah, SAD, uh, SCK, and then the top is the LED, which is going to be a 3 volt in. So let's go ahead and start wiring this up, starting from the bottom, which is the VCC. So I'm going to take that, and I'm going to plug that into my 5 volt pin here on my Arduino. Next will be my ground pin, so I can plug that into any of the ground pins. I'll just go right next to the 5 volt here. Okay, the next pin here is labeled uh, CS, which will go with our code to pin 10. So I'm going to take this wire here from CS and go to pin 10. Uh, next will be our reset button, which is going to go to pin 9. So right next to the last wire. There we go. And then we have our AD pin, which is going to go to pin 8 on Arduino. Finally, we have, or not finally, but we have our uh, SDA, which is going to go to pin 11. And then our SCK, which is going to go to pin 13. And the very last pin is on mine is labeled uh, LED, and we're going to put that to a 3 volt pin, so right here next to the 5 volt. Okay, so we are all wired up. Let's go ahead and plug it in and load some code. Here we are with a fresh install of the Arduino IDE, and there's uh, two set of libraries we need to install. Uh, if you go up to sketch, and I'm running Arduino IDE uh, 1.6.9, if you're running an older version, or possibly in the future a newer version, this might be a little bit different, but I'm gonna go to sketch, and I'm gonna go down to include library, manage libraries. And here we're gonna type in, in the filter box, ST3, or ST73, yeah, oh, sorry, ST773 is what's going to come up as the library. And it'll say this library is for the Adafruit 1.8 inch SPI display. Click install on that. So that's ST773. I know it's hard to see here. There we go, I think. <laughs> Next, we're going to type in Adafruit uh, GR for graphics, and we're going to grab this one that says Adafruit uh, GFX Library. Click install on that. And we can close out of that, go to File, Examples, and there is now a folder there called uh, Adafruit ST7735, and we're going to grab the graphics test. Make sure that we have the proper port selected on our computer, which isn't showing up because I need to plug my Arduino in. So my Arduino is now plugged in, so go to port. Yep, I got the right one checked. USB 0. And I also have the right board checked. I'm running an older board here, but uh, whatever board you have. And we'll click upload. It says compiling and it's uploading. Sorry about the horrible shots of the screen of the IED, but uh, you kind of get the idea here. This is the uh, default graphics example uh, that's provided by the Adafruit library. 
and it just goes through displaying different size and color text on the screen, different shapes such as lines, circles, squares, uh, triangles, and some basic shapes to create images and also inverting the screen. Um, so again, you can also load bitmaps to this from the SD card. I'm going to look into that. I haven't done that yet myself. I have to solder some pins on here to access that on this board. Uh, so, um, but that's that. Now, you can also go to github.com forward slash metalx1000, which there should be a link to in the description of this video if you're watching it on YouTube. And uh, there, there's some example codes for all my hardware projects. And if you go under Arduino and choose the display, uh, you can also find in there the example codes for stuff I'm going to be working on. Right now, I just have one uh, simplified version that just shows some text uh, in different colors. But I hope to be adding some more functionality and example code to there, uh, which I may show in future videos. But check that out. Again, links in the description to there. There's also links in the description to filmsbychris.com, that's Chris with a K, uh, and my Patreon page if you want to become a supporter. I thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe because I come out with videos uh, pretty much weekly, and we're going to be doing some more stuff with this board over the next couple of weeks, or I'm sorry, with this display over the next couple of weeks. Thanks again for watching, and I hope that you have a great day. I also just wanted to point out that uh, I did get this off of eBay. Uh, I'll try to put a link in the description, although I don't know how long eBay postings last for. Um, but you should be able to find it by typing in, uh, typing in uh, 1.8 inch TFT SPI uh, display. It's a This particular one is 128 pixels by 160, and it cost me just over $4 shipped to my house. So that's where I got it. That's how much it is at the time of recording this video. And as always, I thank you for watching, and I hope that you have a great day.